Do you manage or develop solutions with Jira and Confluence at their core? Then you are familiar with the challenge of integrating your Atlassian apps with all your other tools. Too many apps, each for a unique integration, and often not delivering exactly what you want. It's not ideal. Meet Stitchit, the central hub for all your integrations, brought to you by the teams behind ScriptRunner. Stitchit replaces all of your other integration tools. A code-first approach and working with APIs directly means you can build even the most challenging integrations, connecting your Atlassian apps to anything. Best of all, integration is easy with Stitchit. Pre-built connectors to popular tools and a library of templates get you started fast while fully managed infrastructure lets you focus on your business logic. The app takes care of the rest. So next time you need to integrate a new app, whether it's ServiceNow or Microsoft Teams, just stitch it. Hello everyone. What an impressive animation we just saw on Stitch It. But I am lucky enough to be sitting today with the Stitch It team. And I wanna congratulate all of you on the launch of Stitch It Beta. What I wanna do in this chat is talk to you about why we built Stitch It, we being the adaptivist group. We built something that is now the only Atlassian-based integration app that you'll ever need. But really, I wanna know more. So we saw in that video that Stitch It's like a code-based integration hub, but come on, what does that really mean for people? Why does it even matter? And why did we build it? Uh, I can take that. Um, so there are actually uh, several reasons why we decided to embark in this um, journey of building an Atlassian to anything integration app. But I'd say probably the main one uh, was trying to reduce complexity when having to integrate processes across your system landscape. Um, the market uh, currently is offering plenty of single use case integration tools. Uh, and in most cases, those are low code and uh, no code as well, uh, which forces users to both um, acquire more than one tool to solve um, each of these specific use cases and um, and or uh, I'd say um, to rely on other resources to build something bespoke uh, for those specific uh, needs. So uh, what Stitch does is that it leverages, as you just mentioned, uh, the power of code to enable users to solve their most uh, complex integration challenges. And at the same time, um, it lets you consolidate them all in one single hub so you don't need to go um, uh, spread the, the budget and buy multiple tools to do just that. Cool. If From... I can just add very briefly to that. Um, I mean, as, as Maria said, it is a scripting tool. So there is a level of um, yeah understanding of scripting that's needed, but we try to make that the experience around the scripting really seamless by offering managed connectors, managed APIs, templates, and things like that, that make it, you know, easier for the user to get started. Um, and there's just one more thing as well around kind of who we're targeting this um, this tool for. And obviously we're part of ad the Adaptivist group and Adaptivist has a very close relationship with um, and a commitment to the Atlassian ecosystem. So that's why we're really starting off by building um, a solution for the Atlassian ecosystem with out of the box connectors for a lot of the tools they have. But we also understand that these tools need to be connected to other third-party um, tools. So it's kind of like a hub for anything, any integrations uh, for your Atlassian tools to messaging tools like Teams or Slack, but also um, to kind of ITSM tools like Service Man uh, ServiceNow, sorry, or Jira Service Management. Um, so yeah, just a bit more context on the type of areas that the tool or the type of use cases the tool can help with. All right. Team, we haven't even seen it yet. All right, we saw a great animation, but Bo come on, Bobby, show me what's what, man. Let's let's take a look at how you can really consolidate all of these integrations into one place. So let's look at a real life integration problem. So in my company, we have, or my imaginary company, we have a, a internal IT desk, and when. Um, groups inside my company want to create a confluence space for themselves. They have to make a request for the IT desk, which is then reviewed and approved by um, one of the IT team. So 
rather than have that user have to approve it and then go and manually create the space and then manually inform the users that we've actually gone and created that space, we can create an integration between the tools to have that process automated. So here we have a workspace, which in Stitch is where all of your information comes together to create your integrations. So I'm just going to run through real quick how we've got this set up. So first, we've got an event listener. This listens for an issue transitioned. So in my IT service desk, we're going to listen for the move from in progress to approved. Next, we have the API connections. These are the tools that we're going to be sending information to. So Confluence, we're going to be creating a Confluence space. Jira, we're going to be updating the ticket to say that it's been done. And then Slack, we're going to send information to Slack to let people know that that space has been created. We have a generic connector here, but I'm going to talk about that in a bit. Finally, we have the script here. The script is where we actually call the APIs itself, and we actually create the code that is going to do the functionality that we want to do. So just to see it working, I can go to my IT desk, and I've got a request here to create a Confluence space in my Confluence instance here called Customer Success. So if I move this to Approved, Stitcher is going to detect that transition and it's going to execute my script. My script is going to go through the code here and it's going to create that Confluence space using Confluence's REST API. It's going to send information to Slack and it's going to update the ticket as well. So I can go to back to my ticket and I can refresh to see that it's been moved from approved to done or resolved. I can go to Confluence. And I can see that the Confluence space has been created successfully. Okay. Finally, as you can see, we've sent a message into Slack to say that a space has been created. In my imaginary company, we also have a rule that every time we create a Confluence space, we're going to do something positive for the environment. So we're going to plant a tree. So the fourth connector you saw here was to Digital Humani, which is a RAAS, which is Reforestation as a Service. These, um, this is a company provide us with a REST API that we can send information to. And every time we do, they'll plant a tree for us. So every time a Confluence space is created, we go and we go and plant a tree. I've also created another workspace where we can monitor this. So here we have the statistics, which creates a URL that we can access to get information about how many trees we've planted. So you can see before the demo, we planted two. But if I refresh, we've now increased that number to three. Fantastic. Thank you. For sure. That gives me a lot of a lot more insight into what Stitch it actually does. Let's go around the room and the four of you can tell me what's your favorite thing about, about Stitch it. I want to hear what you think the most useful feature is. All right. So I'm going to start with Maria. Maria, what's the most useful feature in Stitch it? My, my focus is always to try to make um, just the experience easier for, for users. Uh, so I'm going to choose the step-by-step -step guide we have on the dashboard. It just lets you seamlessly setting, set up um, our workspace and, and get it started, essentially. Nice. Madeline, what is your choice Stitch It feature? So very similarly to Maria, my focus is also trying to help users get started really quickly. Um, so I'm going to pick templates, uh, and it's a real personal favorite. It's it allows you to build an integration in minutes. It's really just plug and play if it solves the right solution. But it also helps you get started as a non-technical user myself. I've built a few integrations for the team and I've always based, started from a template and then used bits of the code and snippets from the script um, to make it to make a new one. So yeah, they're really helpful. Ergo, what about you? What's the what's the number one thing that that should bring people to stitch it? Um, I wouldn't say this is the feature that would bring people to stitch it, but uh, as a professional uh, engineer, the my favorite feature is probably the most advanced one, and uh, I'll let me just show you how it works. And so the feature I have in mind is a package manager, and the package manager allows me to pull in the third party packages from the NPM ecosystem, which is actually quite uh, quite a massive uh, uh, ecosystem. If I go into a package manager in my workspace and go to a third party packages, I can pull in any of the predefined packages or any, any package that's not verified. And lastly, Bobby, you, you're, you've got your hands in these tools every day. What's the most useful feature to stitch it to you? 
the editor and the managed APIs are really useful for me. So being able to write a script and at all times the editor giving me information about A, what I've done wrong and B, what I can possibly do. So giving me functions like you've just seen the pop-up with um, what Erko demonstrated, it's really useful and really powerful for me. Well, thank you, the four of you, for taking the time to speak with me today about Stitch. I really do appreciate that. And for those of you watching the video, please join the Stitchit community. Head on over to the website, uh, our documentation portal, or just start your free account today.